Hello everybody. Well, here we have Joe Roberts, who has been making Port Mirian prisoner style costumes for over 30 years. So tell me, Joe, how did you become fascinated with this hobby of yours? I remember the prisoner from the first release, but then I went um, to college and I never watched much of them television at all when I was at college. So I forgot about it really. And then I was doing some industrial archaeology in uh, uh, Anglesey. And the friend whose house I was staying in whilst I was doing it, surveying their windmills, um, said, oh, let's go to Port Merion on the way back. So I uh, stopped in the car park and um, came in. And Max had just set up his prisoner shop. And of course, when I went in there, I thought, oh yeah, I remember that big ball thing and the pipe blazers and things. And then it began to come back. And uh, so when it came out on video, I bought all the videos, but I didn't have a player for years, but I thought this will be my last chance of doing it. It could be done now. Um, and it just happened to be convention weekend. So uh, the next year I came with a friend and, then, uh, and again convention weekend. And then uh, I joined up and a friend made a cape from, and she used to sell ten pounds in those days. Um, and she made hers from an original, a pattern taken straight from the original. So mine's a second generation pattern from the original. So the, the actual material and size, give or take half an inch or so, is um, the same as the original. So they look authentic. And I've gone for. Um, what I want to do with them is to go for the cottony look because they're dull and not shiny and uh, but they're lightweight and easy to pack because a lot of people come on the train to the convention so they need something that's easy to transport. Uh, I'm afraid I've to fully line them because the lining is huge, you need a king sized sheet to do the lining. And of course the... Yeah. Better, better material for the outside but to do a thin lining means that it's um, easier to transport. Of course, there's been a bit of inflation uh, over the oh, few, yes. last few years, hasn't it? Well, it's down here and... Um, so they started off at £10 and now they're how much? 50 but it is 30 years later. And it's a good investment, I'm sure. And the, these capes, they're very popular, I take it. Yes, I've sold quite a lot, yes, yeah. over the years. Because, well, if you look at the um, election parade, yeah. uh, you know, they need nice selection of colours and that for the capes. Uh, we had, I didn't make them, but they had originally enough society owned capes to do a whole chess match. I think they've got about seven now because people just sort of purloined them. How naughty. And over the years, it is naughty, but it's not fair, is it? It's not, no, um, it's not the sort of personality uh, you want in the village. <laughs> uh, but um, so over the years, you know, just a one or two that have taken them home, presumably. Um, so we can put out a plea yeah, for these so, uh, naughty people to uh, to bring them back if they're no, of a mind. I think that's a lost cause. But uh, I think you're probably um, right. <laughs> then they've made some more now, but they have to make them yeah. cheaply, of course. To, um, uh, and you make the jackets as well, Joe. Um, yes. Well, this jacket was a yeah. black jacket, yeah. and it's um, a schizoid man, but right. um, six and twelve. I've lost the six bunch yeah. at the moment, but. Um, so it's sort of half number 12 and half number, just as a novelty item. I usually dress up as a butler because but I've handed that on to young George, who looks superb in his He does, room. doesn't he? He's just the right size, isn't and, he? And uh, he won't speak to his mother now, because of course Andrew and Muscat doesn't um, speak. <laughs> yes, I also do the um, magazine. He's a mute. <laughs> I also do the magazine c cartoon strip as well. Pat oh, do you? And uh, the last one featured Angela and Muscat, that's what reminded me. But yes, and I, we do the touring theatre, usually on a Sunday morning, mm -hmm. and I make all the props or collect them for that as well. So I've had a house full of phones and um, a nice 1960s Polaroid camera I put the other day for the, where Alison reads the um, ESP cards in McGowan. Fabulous. So well, you've certainly got the weather for um, this uh, year's convention. It's absolutely glorious. It's just like it was in the uh, TV series, isn't it? Well, according to uh, our Derek, the weatherman in Wales, rain comes down. It's in Port Mary and rain goes across. It's uh, pretty awful when it rains, but when the sun's out, it's absolutely idyllic. 